Good day, students. The topic we are considering today is simple harmonic motion. It talks about objects moving around a circle at a particular angle, and the angle at which is being moved is equivalent to theta, and uh, is equal to two pi radians, and in degree is three sixty degree. Around a particular circle is six three sixty degree. I can see it for the diagram that CY is radius, CZ is a radius, CP is a radius, and CD is PC radius. Now you can see that uh, it moves at a particular uniform speed. And you can see from the, 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 this topic, speed and acceleration of simple harmonic motion, particle P moves around the circle once. You can see it moves around the circle once. It shifts through an angle theta equals 360 degrees. 2 pi radians in time t. The period of motion, the rate of change of the angle theta with time t is known as the angular velocity. And angular velocity, W, equals angle turned through by the body over time taken. Take note of the formula theta over t. Theta is the angle turned through by the body and is in radian, time is in seconds. And the unit of angular velocity, W, to radians per second. Take note, under linear velocity, the unit is meter per second, but when you are dealing with angle, you refer to radian per second. And theta, which is the angle turned through by the body, is equal to distance over radius. You can see the distance at which the object is moving, and the radius at which it's moving, which is equivalent to A. The radius is circle. So theta equals to S over R. Good. I'm going to derive an expression for linear velocity, the relationship between the linear velocity and the angular velocity. Expression, we have uh, angular velocity to be equal to angle turn through by the body over time taken. When you cross multiply, we have angle turn through by the body equals angular velocity multiply by time. And we also have angle turned through by the body is equal to distance over the radius. If you cross multiply, we have uh, distance equals r theta. And don't forget the unit of angle turned through by the body is radian. Radians per seconds. Radian per second. Units will now be radian per second for the angular velocity. Now, as we continue, we are going to make some substitution. We have the, the uh, angular velocity to be equals theta, which is angle turned through by body, equals S over R distance over the radius over the time. This L distance over radius, they are, this, they are together. Distance over radius, this division divided by T over 1. Turn into multiplication. Distance over radius, the distance which the object is moving around, times 1 over T. Let's just make some uh, calculation. This thing turn into, bring it here and I'll take to the other side. If you make the same thing, 2 times 3, 3 times 2 is the the same thing, give you the same value, that doesn't make any change. T times 1 over R. We are doing this because we want to get an expression for S over T. Angular speed equals displacement over time is velocity, which is V times 1 over R equals V over R. When you cross multiply, we have V equals V over R. We have V equals this W R equals to W A. Where R equals to A equals the radius of the circle. We are going to be making use of this formula, V equals to WR equals 
called OWA. We ask this is the relationship between the linear speed with the angular speed. You, when you have to derive an expression of the relationship between linear speed and angular speed, this is the relationship. V equal to WR or WA. Or WA. V equals to WR or WA, the relationship between the linear speed and the angular speed. W stands for angular speed. Okay. We are going to move into calculation now, or take note of the expression theta equals WT from W, angular speed equals to. Angle turn through by the body over time taking, time taking of moving, moving around the circle, and also the angle turn through by the body equals the distance over the distance of movement over the radius of the circle. Just going to read through to bring out your parameters out. The first parameter that we have that the stone, the boy tie is stone to the end of the string, which again Y span. It was was throwing it around second was rolling it rolling it around the edge in a circular form uh, around the circular parts of radius radius cost radius r equals 15 centimeter 15 divided by 100 meters just convert to meter by divided by 100 and then uh, you have the time taking seconds time t equals 10 seconds. What do you have again? 20 oscillations. You have one complete oscillation, is a standard. One complete oscillation, one complete oscillation equivalent to 2 pi radian. Of 360 degree, but we're making use of 2 pi radian. Now we have 20 oscillation, 20 oscillation. You can see 20 oscillation equals to what? Because multiply 20 times 2 pi radians, which is 40 pi radian. And what I'm going to turn through by the body. Well, absolutely for. Angular speed, angular speed, pressure mark, and linear speed, pressure mark. We know from our formula, angular speed, from our formula, angular speed equals to angle turn through by the body over time. What is the angle turn through by the body? 40 pi radian, a time taking 10 seconds. Zero comes to zero, we have 4 pi Radian per seconds. Radian per seconds angular speed. We have to look for linear speed. Likewise, angular speed multiplied by radius. What's our angular speed? 4 pi. What's our radius? 0.15. We have the multiplication without using calculator 4 pi times 15 over 100. 2 into 40 uh, 50 21 350 25 5 into 15 3 5 into 5 5 5 3 into 5 5 goes in 3 impossible 0 and 0 5 in 30 6 5 Pi meter per second. When you are giving the value of pi as 3.142, you multiply that to get the value for linear speed. The unit of linear speed is meter per second. Take note, meter per second, while the unit of angular speed is radian per second. Number of Vibration was to 60, but we have 60 revolution. 
and uh, the time taking equals 15 seconds. We have to look for period is T and frequency. Frequency. Now the time was time taking over number of vibration. A number of vibration. The time taken is 15 over 6. Please, time equals time taking time that you have divided by the number of vibration to know the real time. 5 is 6, 1. Number 1, 5 is 10. 2, 3 is 1. One to about four seconds. Frequency equals one to about time taken. Frequency now equals one to over one to about four. One to about one. One over one over four years together. That's why I put it in bracket. Divide by one to about four. Because one over one, when you are changing times, division of times, you have those of the denominator goes up and the number is one down. It's four over one. So four per second, the unit is per second 